At 13 years old, I had finished second in the national championships, which is pretty big, competing against 18-year-olds. And my future as a professional surfer was looking really promising. And when I lost my arm, I was like, everything kind of just came to a halt. And when I woke up in the hospital room, I knew I'd lost my arm, but then I looked down and it kind of just dawned on me. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm 13 years old, so much to live for ahead of me. And my arm is gone and surfing might be gone too. And who knows what's gonna happen. And so I just had to take it one breath at a time from there. Before I left the hospital, I was only in the hospital for six days. I knew I wanted to surf again, and most people think I'm crazy. <laughs> but surfing is just a part of my life, and it was something I didn't want to lose. And so that was a huge part of learning to live life with one arm, was learning to surf with one arm. I was actually down at the beach watching all my friends surf, and I was like, the waves were perfect. And I was like, Mom and Dad, can you please bring the surfboard down? I need to get in the water today, right now. <laughs> Um, I got out there and just started paddling and it felt really awkward and I was kind of like really nervous that I wouldn't be able to do it and the first few waves I kind of just fell and flailed off my board and and then stood up on my next wave and rode it all the way to the beach and just had tears of joy and excitement and rush and just thankfulness to be back in the ocean and surfing and just a feeling of accomplishment and determination for the next 200 million waves that I was to catch. <laughs>